Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is going to be a quick preview to the Flyers and Rangers game after they were able to persevere and win in a 5-4 victory to get a gritty, grit-through-it victory against the Rangers last game. This was still a very back-and-forth game, though, because the Flyers were able to come out and get a nice goal by JVR, that brawn of all people, and then uh, Joel Farabee, who's having a hell of a season, were able to assist on. And then you had Provy, who was able to get one in on an assist by Sean Couturier, who's having a great season. And then the comeback kid in the second game back, Artemi Panarin, was able to make it 2-1, followed by Colin Blackwell, who all of a sudden, after being a very consistent AHL player, is now emerging uh, in his latter 20s uh, in the NHL. So... Um, he's now being able to produce there to get his sixth goal to even it up, of which then Julian Gauthier was able to make it 3-2 Rangers. So the Flyers keep, for some reason, once they get leads, just not being able to keep them, whether it's they score and the other team scores very quickly, or now they get a 2 nothing lead and the other team battles back and takes the lead. Uh, with the Gauthier goal, which was at the 15-16 mark of the second period on his nice backhander. Um, you then have Joel Farabee, who has been Mr. Clutch, just Mr. Everything for the Flyers, good on both ends of the ice, has done great this year, netting his 12th goal to tie it up at the 18:36 mark of the second. But then again, right in the beginning of the third, late in the second, they score right in the beginning of the third, Kevin Rooney scores to make the Rangers go up by one, which made it 4-3 of then... Giroux had to respond at 5.33 into the third to tie it up on a nice assist by Jake Voracek, who was the guy that, of course, at the end of his shift, scored a nice OT winner. So the Flyers still showed many gaps and holes in that game. They can't defend the lead for some reason and need to keep battling back. In this game, I look for the Flyers to play a more overall game rather than having to continue to fight and scratch and claw and just not play a good full 60 minutes on the ice. This game is a national televised game on NBCSN for people that do not know at 7.30 this evening rather than a 7 o'clock puck drop. Uh, I think the Flyers are going to need their lines to get better throughout. They keep relying on Couturier and Farabee way too much. You need to see guys continue to score throughout the lineup as well as Giroux um, since coming back off of COVID, has been producing very well. So they keep relying on those guys way too much. I would like to see guys like Albe Kubel, who have not been performing as well of late, be able to step up more. Um, a guy like Lawton, who was doing um, really well um, once he comes back, or, or to be able to come back, excuse me, to what he was, who has 15 points in 23 games, but has gone a little bit off the last couple of days. And then to Kevin Hayes to be the full effect of Kevin Hayes we saw last year. We still haven't really seen that much at all this year in Kevin Hayes, which the team has been wanting that the full effect Kevin Hayes, which is both ends of the ice and not just being a good offensive output like he does have with 20 points, but good on both ends like farabee has been doing and JVR has been doing with 29 points this year, having his best season overall as far as I'm concerned defensively. And then Sean Couturier, of course, is the Selkie winner, so very good defensively. We need to see our bottom lines get better. We should be patient with Lindblom and Patrick. But uh, patience is a virtue, but it can only go so far because this team is a team that was a contender and is now falling behind a little bit, so they need to figure some things out. Gostas Bear has looked fairly good. It seems like they should definitely pick up a defenseman to replace a Prosser-type guy in the lineup and maybe even get uh, two guys. You could have Braun and then a Prosser-type guy or a Hag come out of the lineup, so you could even add two defensemen. Ekholm, um, a rumored trade is Patrick in a first. Comment in the section if you would think that's a good trade to do and then Jomerson I would think he would give up less because he's on an expiring contract you're not getting a second year of him for one of the more affordable contracts of a defenseman in the NHL like you are with Ekholm if you get Jomerson Jomerson's I think in the five million something cap quota so um anyway when it comes to tonight's game though it's all about protecting their goaltender like the Flyers still were not very much able to do in this Rangers game and why they had to battle and Jake had to score an OT at the end of his shift. It seems like tonight Brian Elliott might end up getting the start looking at the projected lineups, and it seems like they're going to keep Nate Prosser in with Gostas Bear, um, along with Sanheim and Myers, who together, they just need to stop making young defense mistakes. Um, 
where they're both only 24-year-old kids and are just making some of the same mistakes. But when that line's going strong, it definitely looks like it has the potential to be a very good future line in this league. Provorov and Braun is an interesting pairing just because Braun can't really keep up with Provy, but we'll see what happens there. I mean, the, the defensive pairings are making it clear what the Flyers need. It's screaming at them. They need to trade for some defense. And hopefully they get that moving forward. But with who we have now, I like what I've seen from Goat. Um, when Sanheim is uh, playing at his best, um, I definitely like what I've seen from him as well. The same goes for Myers. And then Provy's Provy. I've always liked what I've seen from him. Tonight, I want to see the lineup throughout. Like Giroux and Voracek stepped up for a key goal last game, which is technically, as A.V. said, he doesn't consider things lines, but our third line. I want to see lines like that continue to step up and not just have it be J.V. or Couturier and Faraby pretty much having a factor in every goal or being the only guys that contribute to goals. I would like to see more from Lindblom, more from Raffle, who's doing the little things but not doing things like he used to and also contribute while doing the little things. And same with Knack, who used to do the same things and is also... Um, not necessarily stepping up and actually underperforming of late. So definitely would like to see him step up. And obviously, no matter who's in that, it seems like it's going to be Moose. you got to protect your goaltender. you got to be better than we were in the first game. This is not a game that should go to overtime. This is a game the Flyers should be able to win in regulation. And I'm going to give it a 3-2 to two score prediction. Win in regulation, the Flyers get a late goal to put them over the top. That would be my score prediction. But the keys are, finally, just protect your goaltender. Play a full 60 and have scoring throughout like we had the third technical line with Jake being able to team up with G-Score and not just have it be JV or Couturier and Farabee show. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This has been the recent edition of the Grittiest Take preview to the Rangers and Flyers game tonight at 7.30 on NBCSN. Have a great, safe, and pleasant night, and enjoy the game, everybody. Peace out.